Max, give me a kiss. Hey, give me a kiss. Uh, th this is my favorite thing that he's able to do Thank now that you. he's on this medication is that uh, on, on request, he will give me kisses anytime I ask, and that is the absolute best. to decline in his speech, but also he started to stem, um, like shaking his hands a lot, um, his head back and forth, spinning in circles, completely like, <laughs> sorry, every time I talk about it, I cry. Um, he like completely closed in on himself, completely stopped talking, he had no words left. He would wake up, probably three or four times a week and be up for hours in the middle of the night and would not be able to go back to sleep. We reached out to Dr. Novak at Unravel Bioscience and connected with him to see if there was anything they'd be able to do. So from there we were working with Unravel and were able to give us and our clinicians a list of possible medications that could help with this genetic disorder. So we met with them and went over the results and then I went to see our uh, specialist at Phoenix Children's Hospital, who also went over the results with us and was comfortable trying one of the top medications um, with Max. We chose to do a blind data collection. I worked with our school to get weekly data collection from his speech pathologist, his general education teacher, his special education teacher, and his occupational therapist. So since we started the medication, the first thing we notice is that he's sleeping so much better. He sleeps through the night, almost every night. He started connecting back with his uh, siblings. He's starting to recognize different people and his receptive language is returning. He's able to do simple things like if I say give me a kiss, he can give me a kiss or a high five. He's able to point to some body parts now. His attention span has increased significantly. So his ability to learn has increased because he's able to sit and focus on things. He's starting to babble again, making new noises. So we're hoping that's kind of the start of speech returning. Here you can see that Max is no longer responding to his name. Max. Max. Come here. Max. Lots of arm flapping. Um, he's, the muscles really tight, you can see in this video. Under the basket. Okay. So Thank you. this video was huge for me because before Max started the medication, if I set him down in a um, I wouldn't even have a chance to bring out my phone because he would run and throw everything off the shelves, run as fast as he could away from me um, without even a glance backwards to see where I was. He would just take off and do whatever he wanted, throw things on the ground, spin in circles. So on his medication, now I can actually have him walk beside my basket and he's following simple commands. When I asked him to hold on to the basket, he paused and held on to the basket. That was never even remotely possible before he started his medication. Max, give me your foot. Good job. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Good job. So in this video, you can see that Max is starting to be able to follow simple commands and have an understanding of his own body awareness. He was able to do all of that before he regressed, but then once he started regressing, he lost all of that ability, could not point to one single body part anymore. Okay, Max, <laughs> where's your nose? Good, where are your eyes? Where are my eyes? 
So this is it. I is able to point to me kiss body parts. Good job. His face. He points to my eyes and nose. His um, therapist thinks it's because he can't, he doesn't realize that he also has them because he can't see them. So he'll give me his hand, his belly button, his feet. But if it comes to his face where he can't see it, he instead points to my nose or my eyes or my ears. Max. So I had the video before of me calling his name and him not pausing and now 80% of the time if you say his name, he'll pause and look at you. Good job.